From James Bond to the Avengers, invisible vehicles have been a staple in Hollywood for decades. After all, nothing is more appealing to a spy or a top secret superhero mission than undetectable transportation. It's the ultimate stealth feature and for a long time, it seemed too good to be true. But new technology is making an Aston Martin vanquish with a cloaking device and the Marvel Helicarrier closer to becoming a reality. Welcome to Get Around How, the channel that brings you all the newest and coolest vehicles from around the world. In this video, we'll check out the adaptive camouflage technology the T-Go stealth tank uses and compare it to the invisible vehicles in some of our favorite films. It's going to be super cool. So if you've ever wondered if an invisible jet could be made outside of a Marvel laboratory, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and stick around until the end. Invisibility hasn't always been a priority or even a desire for most large militaries. Easy to spot military uniforms in rich reds, deep blues, and bright whites were the norm until the early 20th century. Uniforms serve both practical purposes such as durability and visibility and a psychological role in making soldiers feel prepared for battle. But the shift from musket-driven warfare to guerrilla warfare made the need for stealth crucial. Then, the First World War ushered in a new threat, aerial reconnaissance. The French established the first units of camouflage experts in camouflage in 1914. Initially, their tactics involved painting vehicles and weapons in disruptive designs to blend in with the environment. Camoufleurs served as practitioners and instructors of their unique art. They taught other military units how to disguise their equipment with paint, cover sheds stocked with materiel, with netting and fake leaves, and erase any noticeable truck tracks or cannon blast marks. The tactics of the French caught on, and soon troops were sneaking onto battlefields under cover of night, cutting down trees and replacing them with hollow false trees that allowed soldiers space to hide inside. And on the seas, British Lieutenant Norman Wilkinson introduced dazzle paint on warships. The primarily black and white zigzag paint was meant to confuse the enemy about the ship's size, distance, and speed. The technique didn't seem very effective since the Germans sunk 55 such ships in just one week, but the idea had caught on. By the Second World War, battles were being decided based on the effectiveness of stealth. In one instance, Allied troops were able to hide the entire Suez Canal from aerial view. Camouflage and other means of visual deception have since become commonplace in every military mission. But the days of searching for a tank or a troop with the naked eye alone are long gone. Now, radars, heat sensing devices, cameras, satellites, and nuclear detection devices are the standard for reconnaissance. And as a result, finding ways to become invisible to these devices has become increasingly important. One of the most exciting advancements is an invisibility cloak developed by BAE Systems. The technology known as Adaptive, patented in Sweden, operates on infrared and other frequencies. It instantly blends a vehicle into the surroundings, lowering its detection range to less than 500 meters. Additionally, Adaptive can imitate natural objects and other vehicles and provide cooperative interrogator friend slash foe, or IFF, by showing unique patterns only visible at specific frequencies or upon receiving an interrogation signal, such as coded laser designation. The system consists of lightweight metallic hexagonal pixels that rapidly change temperature to display a thermal pattern that seamlessly blends with the surroundings. Each pixel is powered by electricity and can be heated or cooled through commercially available semiconducting technology. An onboard computer, fed by cameras that capture the background, determines the pattern. This technology enables a moving tank to blend into its surroundings, imitate another vehicle, or display identification markers, reducing the likelihood of friendly fire. Early trials have shown that one side of the CV-90 tank could be made effectively invisible or appear to be other objects, like a 4x4 vehicle, when viewed in the infrared spectrum. Combat vehicle protection has undergone significant advancements recently, expanding beyond traditional ballistic and blast protection 
to hit avoidance through countermeasures and active protection, reducing risk by avoiding detection or target acquisition by enemy weapons. One aspect of this is advanced camouflage, which conceals the vehicle from visible observation and imaging systems, particularly thermal imaging, which forms the basis of modern automated engagement systems, including target acquisition and missile seekers. A similar system, the Invisible Reactive Armor Protection, using the Black Fox Thermal Camouflage from Eltex and IMI's Hybrid Armor, is under development in Israel. Meanwhile, the DARPA and U.S. Army Research the Development Center are exploring similar capabilities for future iterations of the manned ground vehicle. While the infrared spectrum is the primary focus of Sweden's military right now, that doesn't mean this tech will only be applied to thermal imaging. BAE Systems engineers have combined the pixels with other technologies, which provide camouflage in other parts of the electromagnetic spectrum simultaneously to provide all-around stealth, which will be developed further over the next few years. The pixels will project images from a massive database, making the vehicle itself disappear into its surroundings, flash messages, or copy the appearance of non-military vehicles. The adaptive tech is currently being used on Sweden's CV-90 tanks, but it has the ability to be applied to lots of other vehicles. A fighter jet could become undetectable by radar and blend seamlessly with the clouds by projecting images onto its pixel panels. A ship could match its temperature to the water around it and appear as a wave or a piece of sky meeting the horizon to the naked eye. The pixels can also be resized to achieve stealth at different ranges. Larger objects like ships could be fitted with larger panels to display a lower resolution image. The panels could also be used on buildings, hiding entire military bases in war zones or making city skylines disappear from missile radars. Adaptive is the most advanced and applicable tech we've seen in this space, but many people are hoping that developments with metamaterials provide even greater functionality. Metamaterials are artificially engineered materials that possess properties not found in naturally occurring materials. They are made up of sub-wavelength sized metal or dielectric structures arranged in a specific pattern to produce a desired response to electromagnetic radiation. As far as invisibility goes, metamaterials can be designed to bend light waves around an object in such a way that the object becomes invisible to the eye. This bending of light waves is achieved by negative refraction, which happens when light enters the metamaterial and is bent in the opposite direction to that which occurs in natural materials. This bending causes the light to bypass the object and continue on its original path, making it invisible. The exact design of the metamaterials used for invisibility will depend on the particular spectrum of light being used – visible, infrared, microwave, etc. – and the size and shape of the object to be made invisible. While invisibility cloaks have been demonstrated in the laboratory using metamaterials, creating a truly invisible vehicle remains a significant scientific challenge. It would require creating metamaterials that can bend light at all angles, across the entire spectrum of visible light, and at a large scale. Researchers are continuing to develop more advanced metamaterials for this purpose, and combining this technology with adaptive could mean we see invisibility cloaking on par with science fiction. So how do adaptive and the possibilities presented by metamaterials stack up to the kind of tech you might see in Wakanda or 007's garage? Bond's Aston Martin becomes invisible, according to Q, through tiny cameras on all sides project the image they see onto a light-emitting polymer skin on the opposite side. Hmm, sounds a bit like Adaptive's ability to mimic its surroundings with its pixels. Mercedes-Benz tried out the Bond tech for themselves in 2012 when they covered the driver's side of their F-Cell car in mats of LEDs and mounted a digital SLR camera on the opposite side of the vehicle. The result was one that at least gave an impression of visibility. You could still see the wheels and the outline of the car itself, but the prototype was also a reminder of how far we still were from achieving something as flawless as the Vanish. The computers, power sources, and other necessary gear weighed around 1,100 pounds and were only effectively invisible from a distance. And what about the shield? 
helicarrier that blends seamlessly into the clouds after takeoff. While we are not anywhere near being able to fly an aircraft the size of a Navy ship by fan power, the retro reflective panels that line the helicarrier's hull are closer to being a reality. The panels allow the aircraft to reflect light, becoming invisible to the naked eye at a certain altitude. It's also common for Marvel Universe vehicles to have radar cloaking, something that is possible with both Adaptive's temperature tech and metamaterials. So, while we may not see these particular invisible rides come to life anytime soon, many elements are already being used. Bond's camera tech is being tested by Samsung on large trucks to give drivers around them more visibility. And Jaguar is working on making blind spots a thing of the past using this technology. Militaries around the world are watching adaptive and metamaterials research closely, so it won't be long before this kind of invisible camouflage is a must-have for all stealth vehicles.